you there. I'm Charlie, and I used to be a time traveler. You want to hear a couple stories about my time traveling adventures? Oh, let me think. Well, Tess, it's I about the Getty Bugs battle. I don't know, Mom. I don't know. Do it again. Clean Daddy. No! Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid test, stupid school, stupid parents. Nobody understands me. Hey, what's this? Whoa, Whoa where am I going? Where am I? You're in Pennsylvania, son. What are you doing? Where's your uniform? What? I'm in Pennsylvania? Yeah, this is the battle. What battle? Well, I don't know. We're in Gettysburg. Oh, boy. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just grabbed this old clock, and next thing I know, I'm in Pennsylvania. The Union had the advantage. They had 20,000 more troops than the Confederacy did. 90,000 to 70,000. Hey, what's that over there? That's the old shoe factory. Oh, really? All right, well, let's go over there. This Army needs some shoes. All right. Oh no, who's that over there? On their way back from the shoe factory, they were spotted on, on a bridge of the road. Somebody shot and it became a frenzy. That's how the Gettysburg battle started. This battle was thrown at Meade only three days after he became Union. Retreat! Oh. I actually ended up passing out from fear. I didn't know what to do. The time I woke up after I passed out, the second day of battle was already over. We were on to the third day. They had day. already lost 65% of their troops. Then finally, on the third day of battle, came Pickett's Charge at Cemetery Ridge. Cemetery Ridge was the perfect place for a battle, especially to hide. There was long U-shaped hills where you could peek out and hide in. I'm back. I heard that Pickett's Charge is happening right now. We better go and fight. Ugh. Oh no. I got shot. Blow. Was that all a dream? I don't think it was. I can travel time with this watch. Well, I mean, I guess I know more about the Gettysburg Battle.